That's why that speed to lead component is so, so important. So the big question is, what are the top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? If you ever thought about this, you're not alone. No one has been able to get the answers until now. We spent the last few years helping agents sell billions in real estate, rubbing shoulders with top producers, which got us thinking. How can we expose more people to these insights to help raise the standard in the whole real estate industry? We then realized that we could help bridge the gap by getting secrets from the best of the best so that you can succeed. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. Hey everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Elite Agent Secrets podcast. Today, we've got Cara McMaster. Now, she's formerly known as the Nimble Agent She's got a team of marketing gladiators. She's helped over 100 agents now crush it using digital marketing, marketing of all types, whether it's paid, organic. She's big on branding and helping realtors go out there and crush it with more of a modern and proprietary nimble approach. Um, So Cara is going to really be unpacking and unboxing how she is helping agents countrywide with her nimble approach achieve amazing results. Spoiler alert, there is an agent that got a $1.3 million listing from a single Facebook post unpaid, but that is maybe a bonus for the end. (laughs) So on today's episode, we're going to be discussing things like, you know, speed to lead, automation, remarketing, branding, Facebook, all the things that go along with this wide topic. So buckle up, it's going to be a good one. Cara, thanks for jumping on with us today. Thank you, Andrew and Peter. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm super, super excited to share with your audience and help more real estate agents across North America crush it. So thank you for having me. It's going to be a great time. I think what you're going to do is you're going to expose people to a different way of doing things. I think one of the things that, um, you know, we're going to unpack a bit more about your background, but from what um, I've looked into what you do, you probably meet in the middle with what a lot of agents want and what they need. And what I mean by that is a lot of agents really like the headshots. They like the brand. They like, you know, seeing themselves on boards and they love that side, which is the branding side. Right. And I think, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but you really marry that with results. It's like, Hey, we make you look great and we actually get you to sell homes. This isn't an ego thing. Like this is a business and we're going to marry you looking great, getting you out there and you selling a shitload of homes and making you top, a top agents. You know, we we're discussing off air, you've had agents being top producers in their market in four years in a row from just using your approach. So it's going to be interesting to unpack that because I think a lot of people are going to resonate with the fact that they want to become like a local celebrity in their market, like a lot of top producers do and how you can help, um, how you've helped people do that. So um, what I would like to do to start off is go back, you know, Tell us how you got into real estate, how you got into helping real estate agents, um, and we can kind of do a quick backstory and then we'll, we'll dive in. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to. Uh, it's, it's a funny, it's a fun story. Um, I had a previous company before this that specialized in pre-made paleo meals. And at the height of our business, we were delivering around 2000 meals per week. Um, I got that business scaled up pretty quickly to that size, purely through Facebook ads. I got really, really good at figuring out how to reach the right people, how to get my videos out in front of them, build a brand for our company and be able to deliver more deals. Uh, Because we grew it in in this uh, community, a little spot called Whistler, BC, um, which is a a great place to grow a business, a very, very committed community when it comes to small business. But they had this award ceremony um, where they picked a business person of the year. Uh, who was under 40 and doing things in the community. Um, and I got to receive that award. So I, I got up on stage in front of like the, you know, the, the, the biggest guys in, that owned the businesses in Whistler. And I just caused a whole bunch of businesses to reach out. And one of them um, who I agreed to uh, actually work with because other people wanted me to help grow their business uh, was a realtor. Um, and that, that client's actually still with me to this day, funny enough. Uh, but I agreed to work with him and help him run uh, his business and market his business and try new things. He thought that we were onto something um, and didn't want to just work with a, you know, a regular service provider. And he let us test out new fun stuff. And then he referred a realtor and then he referred a realtor. And then, you know, here we are kind of almost five years later uh, in the in the real estate business. 
So you really grow through word of mouth, which is the mother of all advertising, right? And you never grow through word of mouth if you deliver a shit result. That's so Period, true. End of story, right? Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting one because that's also the old school kind of methodology to selling real estate too, right? Do a great job for someone. They tell their friends and family you do a great job. And that is how, you know, if we're going to give them a name, let's say the old guard have grown huge real estate down, you know, uh, empires, you know, businesses off basically just being uh, awesome and doing a great job. And, you know, now with the way society has kind of shifted, you've got to evolve, which is what we're more in touch with, I think, which is kind of being, you know, we call it the modern agent, you know, you have, a, you know, you're giving it your own brand, which is the nimble agent, which I love. And this is a newer way of doing things. But it's interesting how you actually initially grew through referrals as well by just doing a great job for realtors, right? So you kind of got sucked into this world against your own will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, nobody, nobody saying students to work with us, period. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, 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 industry the industry chose me. I did not choose it. So, but uh, got it. lucky on my side. Uh, how, and so how long ago was it then that you actually got in? To it in total. 2017 was when I took on my first real estate client. So four oh, wow. years you've been doing it now and you've mm -hmm. helped hundreds of agents at this point in total? I would say hundreds. I'd say over, well over a hundred by now. Um, we've definitely helped more beyond that, but not of, in much of a direct one-on-one. -on -one. We've done a little bit in the digital space and helping them with their, you know, uh, templates for social media and things like that, but d directly one-on-one -on -one with a, a, just over a hundred now. Nice. I love it. I love, I love how humble you are because <laughs> we all know the, the stuff that you do and the different approaches, but your approach is really wholesome, right? It's a, it's a 360 approach. You marry everything from paid to organic, from, you know, branding to actually advertising. And there is a difference. There is a difference, a huge difference between marketing and advertising. Mm -hmm. And you have a very unique approach. I mean, the first time I spoke to you, I know you were even on the fence of like, does advertising make sense for somebody who's not even marketing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that's really your unique approach is figuring out where the person is and then where you can take them. But then you're really good at identifying the quickest, most efficient and effective path on how to go from point A to point Z just really, really fast. Thank you. Thank you. And I think it's 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 part of why I named the company the nimble agent and having this approach that you can't rely on our laurels. You can't rely on what worked last year. And marketing campaigns, they really do need to be tailored to the real estate agent, tailored to their community. What is their market doing? What is your competition doing? How much are they spending in their markets? Things like all those, these factors will play a big part in, you know, how fast can you get this stuff to work? You know, we all know that we want to see when we spend money on our businesses that we have an ROI. So it's, you know, we're always trying to achieve how, how quickly can we get an ROI for the client and what makes sense for them, right? Sometimes, like you said, they need more, more branding, more social media presence before we even go to think about spending a dime on lead generation because, you know, and I'm sure we'll get into that. You know, most real estate agents are doing some form of lead generation today on Facebook, Instagram, and Google. So you really have to be doing things a little bit different to, to stand out from the rest of the crowd. So then speak, speaking of speed, I think our first topic, if I'm not mistaken, is actually speed to lead and why when you do internet lead generation in general, that is one of the most vital and critical component to somebody's success. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think it's so often overlooked and I doesn't even really uh, play a matter in the industry, whether it's we're in real estate or we're talking about mortgage leads or whatever the industry is. If you do not have speed to lead, when I say speed to lead, how quickly can you get on the phone with that person that just gave you their information is the number one piece component that is controlled when you're looking at conversion. So what do you say to somebody who's like, well, I'm going to call them tomorrow? <laughs> I say, save your money, put it in your pocket. If you cannot get on the phone with these leads fast enough, then I'm sorry, 
you know, online lead generation just isn't for you. And that's okay. That's okay. I think that's another thing that real estate agents have to realize that if you're going to enter into doing and spending money on traffic, there are certain things that you need to have with a system. And if that system, which a part of that is speed to lead is not there, it just might not be the right way for you. Absolutely. See, like it's, it, I just got on the, off a call, I think it was yesterday with somebody where they're like, but I want them to consume my content. I want them to look at my guide. I want to. I want them to look at the search that I set up for them, so I can follow up with them, because I am. Af- they didn't say I'm afraid of you know that first contact, but I don't want to come off as a used car salesperson where I'm following up with them so quickly they haven't had a chance to review any information. Mm. I'm assuming that your answer is going to be screw that thinking go directly to following up with them quickly, right? Yeah, it's it's pretty important. I mean, people are like fish. They're going to, they forget you pretty quickly, right? That's why that speed to lead component is so, so important. Another thing to think about too is that when we look at the way that campaigns are structured and how we target people and when we target people, when we look at these cold audience targeting, when we're trying to reach people who have never heard of us before and we're getting that lead in the very first time, it's typically what we call a tofu type of campaign, top of funnel. These people have never heard of us before. So we put something out in front of them that really entices them. But at this point, like we haven't really had a chance to show off the brand because at this point, they honestly don't really care. So that first interaction, that's okay. They don't, they're not going to know who we are. And that's why having a really, really good skill set of closing internet leads is important when you're doing online lead generation having the right cadence, having the right tonality, that is a skill set that you're going to pick up. But before we even attempt to go and build that skill, really getting speed to lead down is going to be the number one factor that's going to help you get more conversions through your Facebook leads. So then my follow-up question to that is like, why? Why is the speed to lead so important? Because the other you will have to acquire over some period of time, right? Correct. The tonality, the cadence, the way you speak, your script, your framing, whatever you want to call it. How can why is speed to lead such a big component or and so pivotal to actually get somebody converted? Yeah. So the, the first part here is, you know, they will forget about you very quickly. If you don't get them, they completely forget that they filled out the form. That, that's a big one. Another big one that I think most real, agency, real estate agents don't realize, and this one has to sting for you real bad. Another agent is going to pick up that client. Another agent is going to be faster than you because once they've entered into your ad, Facebook's like, oh, great. You like ads. You want to see more properties. Now we're going to start showing you other realtors ads too, because they're more likely to now opt in. So you're now going to be competing with all the other agents in your area who are running Facebook campaigns and working with agents for a really long time. They really don't do a group. I shouldn't say I shouldn't make a blanket statement, but it's a challenge sometimes getting my agents to do a speed to lead and having a good follow up. So if that's the one thing that you're doing, you're going to beat out so much of your competition uh, who's not already getting that speed to lead component down. And when you say speed to lead, is that specifically on the calling front or could that be texting or emailing? Are you talking about picking up the phone or literally just saying, you know, hey, Cara, just, you know, saw you opted in for learn more about homes in Orlando, Florida. Like, we'd love to connect. When would be a great time? Is that speed to lead or is speed to lead like you got to, you know, smile and dial and pick up the phone? Yeah, sm- smile and dial, pick up the phone. You definitely want to have some automations in place and happy to kind of go through that with you as well. But uh, really for good high conversion rates when it comes to Facebook, nothing beats a phone call and a real human people, real human person. It is, you know, as we're heading into 2022, more and more people using automations and more sophisticated automations and, you know, the use of AI technology, people know, they know when they're talking to something that's automated or something that's a bot. Uh, so that's why we find that a real human live person uh, who can get that speed to lead and also qualify the person too. We have a chance to find out if this is actually somebody who's serious and worth our time and worth all of the fees that we use to text and email and the resources to keep up with this list. And so what are you seeing as far as a number of, say, calls to conversation, like conversion rates and speed to lead? Because obviously, you, you, you know, Peter might have just filled out my Facebook form, right? You could call him two minutes later and he don't pick up. 
it might come through as a spam call they might be busy doing this so that like what are some kind of conversion rates you're seeing call rates number of calls needed you know things like that as like benchmarks for people listening you know if they're calling internet leads what they should really expect a really like nice blanket way when you kind of look across because when you're talking about different markets, different ad spend budgets, more seasoned accounts, but when you look across the board, typically about a thousand dollars of Facebook ad spend should be able to generate anywhere between five to fifteen qualified people. I've talked to them; they've got money; they're ready to move in the next six months. That's typically what you should be looking at in terms of a conversion rate. And then as time goes on, those numbers continue to get better. We see clients who get to a year and two years of service that their conversion rates start to really kind of go through the roof because there's really something to be said for consistent ad spend being spent every month, somebody going in, constantly optimizing and making sure that the campaigns that you are running are actually delivering somebody that you can get on the phone, somebody who's ready to move in the next six months, not working with a realtor. You know, those are the things that we're looking for. So, um, yeah, does that does that answer your question, Andrew? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I think it's it, the thing is the compound effect, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like in month one, someone goes, "I want to move in twelve months," and then you, it's not that you've forgotten. You just follow up in twelve months, and you focus on the people that are close, and then all of a sudden, twelve months is round, and like that person from twelve months goes, "Like I want to move now," mm -hmm. and you stay in touch, and then it's a compound effect, right? Real estate is is probably one of the few industries where compounding genuinely does happen. Um, in a big way and it also compounding from good service as well through referrals so not only do you get the compound effect of running ads when you do a great job for that person you get the compound effect of doing a great job and you get their friends and family and it and i think what a lot of people think is like if i start running ads now do i have to run them forever i always i'm i'm in the boat of no you don't it depends on where you want to grow your business to but there will be a certain point where it's like you just don't need to anymore. What ads are in my mind, and I'm not sure if you'd agree or disagree, it's like it's the accelerant to get to where the years have taken other people, if that makes sense. So all the other people have taken years to build the sphere, to build all this data, to build a database where they now get consistent lead flow and deals every single month. What ads do and marketing does and branding does is it accelerates those years and it compresses them. That's the way I see what we do. And it's like how to get to your goal faster, right? Yeah. But it still work. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I like to also think of it as like handshakes at scale. You know, we're trying to get out there, meet as many people as we possibly can. Um, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done to get that deal in the door, whether we're meeting them in person at a networking event or they've come in through, you know, an internet uh, lead. But it's 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 shaking hands at scale. It's getting you out in front of way more people than you could physically do every single day. If that isn't like the slogan for the nimble agent, <laughs> it, it, it I really, really like really that. Cool. Handshakes at scale. And yeah, so shaking I, hands I just, at scale. I just came up with that now, so I might I might have to take that one. <laughs> I, think, I think that's really yeah. good because it, it's so like everyone can imagine what it's like. You know, shaking hands at scale is is a really nice way. To put and I, and I think it's probably more relevant to say you and what you do, which is also got a big focus on branding as opposed to you know normal you know say a lead generation company when you do more of an all encompassing focus on the whole kind of omnipresent brand of an agent and how they get out there, which is truly handshakes at scale, right? Mm -hmm. Because the handshakes in person and at scale. So I mean that that's that's super interesting. I think. Speed to lead is something that is massively important. I think it's interesting your feedback on the numbers um, are, are that are associated with that. Are you, you know, just kind of that coincides with that topic? Are you still heavy on Facebook or do you do a bit of Google and YouTube? Is there a certain tra traffic source that you're seeing better for lead quality and conversions, you know, from your side or? What's yeah, we're, like? we're, we're kicking it old school with Facebook. Still love everything that's coming from Facebook. I mean, what you can do with a cost per lead and the way that you can reach your audience with not having to use these insane budgets. Um, it's why I love Facebook still. Um, but Google Ads is still, you know, is a great platform. They do require much larger budgets. And we really strategize with clients when they're first starting. It's like, hey, you know, the, when you first come on, we're going to start with Facebook because you're just getting a lot more swings at bat 
they learn how to deal with the internet leads that are coming over. They learn how to work with the ISA and how these transfers are all working. And then once you know we get a few closings in the door and we know how to close internet leads, then it's a good time to start looking at other uh, platforms like Google AdWords that um, do require a much larger budget, sometimes two to three times what they've been spending on Facebook. But we do typically will see leads that are a little bit more ready to go. But because they're just that much more expensive, you just don't want to waste them on yourself or a team that maybe hasn't quite, you know, acquired that skill of, of that internet lead close. Crack the code. I like that. I think because that that's what, you know, myself and Peter still focus on. We're heavy on Facebook and that is like our jam. Uh, again, we don't, we, we're not muddy in the pool. I think you know, spoiler alert, if we're going to dive into something, but there is two of us. So every agent listening being like, look, these guys are fucking doing two different things now. But I think the main thing that we're now looking at uh, getting involved with is YouTube organic. Mm -hmm. So like producing content um, out there to to sell homes as well. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's the only, the only reason I'm kind of giving us a pass on this is there is two of us, right? So we've both been heavily focused on just Facebook for a long time now. And we've really got that dialed in to a fine art with systems and everything, which I know is what we're going to dive into next with you, which is which is great. So I, the, our next kind of excursion is like, let's see how this YouTube organic stuff works, because uh, we've met now and on the, on the previous episodes of the podcast, for those you might not have listened, others might not have, you know, there's some crazy, crazy people like Will Grimes doing 2.5 million this year in GCI from YouTube organic. Wow. Like, this is crazy. And he's not the only one. There is multiple people who are doing seven figures from 100% organic. But it's a higher barrier to enter. You've got to produce content. You've got to get on camera. You've got to do – it's just – it's different. It's a, it's a different skill set. You can't go, I'm great at Facebook ads. I'm going to go do YouTube organic. It's like, no. These are very, very different things, which is why, like I said, we get a pass because our, you know, we there's two of us. So one, we've now dialed that in. So we're now going to you know put some more time into this. And I think 2022, that is going to be a big focus for us as our like second big lead source for getting more and more deals over the line um, amongst other stuff. So I'm not yeah. sure if you've got any experience there, but if you haven't, I think you've got to dive in, Cara. <laughs> well, just, just, to, just to comment on that, I think the way that you're going about it is very much the way that I'll guide a lot of my clients in that manner. You know, let's let's build a machine that can fill the pipeline with deals. Keep that phone ringing. Once we got deals coming in and things are closing, then we start to look at other avenues. You know, is it YouTube? Do we need to show up more on LinkedIn? Is it TikTok? You know, but so I think the way that you're going about it is correct. It is a long tail game, but uh, one one that you should play for sure. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode. Now, before you go, we're giving access to a private training we did where we revealed the top three niches to get listings today completely for free. So if you want access, you can go and download that training at EliteAgentSecrets.com. We're regularly releasing new trainings, guides, and cheat sheets. So make sure to head over to EliteAgentSecrets.com and sign up so you don't miss out.